You've used PowerPoint before, but maybe not like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint, a presentation tool, to make a classroom newsletter. First, you're going to change the size of your slide. So go to Design, Slide Size, Page Setup. Make your slide vertical, like a sheet of paper, and change the size to letter paper. That way, the paper will fit a newsletter. You can scale up or scale down, it won't matter for this project. And now you have a blank piece of paper. Add some squares or rectangles that will be used to separate the different sections of your newsletter. You can do this by going to Insert, Shape. And if you need a lot of sections for academics, events, updates, you can make as many as you need. I changed the color of these to transparent. And now I'm editing the line size to be a little bit thicker you can add squiggly lines or double lines, dotted lines, dashed lines, whatever you need, but I'm going to choose the squiggly because it's fun. Now go to insert again and insert a text box for the title of your newsletter. You can make this whatever you need it to be. Center it to align with your page and choose whatever font you want. You can use one of your computer fonts or a font downloaded from the internet. Adjust as needed. Now your newsletter has a basic shape. You're going to insert some more shapes to be used for the labels of each section. You could use basic rectangles, but I'm going to show you how to make a flag. Insert a rectangle and then a triangle next to it. You will need to rotate the triangle, so you'll click rotate right 90 degrees. Put the shapes together and adjust so that they line up. Select both shapes and remove the outline. Then select both shapes again, right click, and group the objects to create one. Choose your desired color, and you have a flag. You might notice that it overlaps with your lines for your rectangles, so you can send the shape to back. Copy and paste the shape for each section of your newsletter, and again, make sure it's sent to back. Now you can insert text for each label. You can label these whatever you need them to be, for mine, I'm going to have a section for updates, a section for academics, and a section for events. Go home so you can edit the font of each label. Choose your desired font. You could use the same font as your title, but I chose a different font that is less bold. Now we're going to insert more text boxes for each content section. Use your desired font again, keep it simple, and put whatever content you need in this section. Moving on, I would like to insert some images. So I'm going to click stock photos at the top and insert my image of choice. Now I'm just going to finish up typing the rest of my content. And again, I'm going to insert another shape, this time an icon. I chose the pencil. You can choose whatever you need. Place it where you want on the newsletter and your newsletter is complete. You can use this template for another newsletter in the future if you would like. Thank you for watching.